What's up guys, it's Gianna, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, this episode number 63 on the channel, and happy Wednesday to everybody out there, hopefully we can get over the rocky start we had earlier this week, and uh, be in for a long, for a, a good week of battling, anyway, that, that was kind of a weird intro, but anyway, we have a battle versus a team that looks pretty cool, uh, it's a webs team, so that's something to keep in mind thankfully Gligar defogs for free versus Embor uh, which is nice and versus rubber ducky so um, also if I get an SD up with the bomb of snow after I weaken like after I uh, get rid of Embor get rid of this um, if I get an SD up with the bomb of snow I think it's over so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and lead with Entei because uh, Entei is a cool mon and can hopefully uh, just sacred fire whatever he brings out first. You know, he may not even be AV, or not AV. Of course he's not. If he's AV, I'm going to cry. Um, <laughs> he may not even be Websley. <laughs> he may just be like choice banned. Don't be choice banned. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to go straight away for the choice banned. It's sacred fire right here and uh, get rid of this thing. It would be pretty nice if I can. Um... Okay, he just went straight away for the th Burn, 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 burn. Um, okay, that was unfortunate. Uh, right here, I'm just going to go straight away for the Sacred Fire again. I don't think I have a whole lot of choice. It's really unfortunate he had to... Uh, off to a great start. Um, right here, I think I'm just going to go straight out. And Actually, I just have to Sacred Fire again, don't I? This is garbage. Miss your, miss your thunder. Miss your thunder. Um, of course. Okay, I'm gonna go out into me and uh, go straight away for the ice shard. See that? That's dumb right there. Cause that's like, wow, I should have had that one. Um, yeah, but I'm just ice sharding. Um, there's no reason for me not to. If he goes out into Embor, I gotta pray that he doesn't have HP ice. If he has HP ice, I think I ought to lose. Um, but, so down goes Galvantula, which is very nice for me, and uh, my win con has taken no damage. Um, so once I get rid of Embor, things are looking up for me, um, especially due to the fact that I have Subtoxic Rachi, which really gives Porygon a run for its money, but I'm going to go out into Lando Teamy. 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 That, that, that's weird. It's like Victini. Rip Victini from UU. You. Um, that thing was fun to use in UU, but kind of dumb. He just went straight away for the superpower. It's too easy. Uh, I'm just going to defog right here because I really have no reason not to. And if he goes out into this, predicting my defog, he's like a god walking among men. Um, although I highly doubt he's going to do that. Um... Although, you know, I have been surprised by bigger things before. I'll, wait, hold up. I gotta pause for just a second, guys. I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh, he made the double, and or he made the switch, rather, into Porygon 2, which is fine. Because this is, like, the easiest sub of my life with Jirachi. Um, as he just goes for the Toxic, but it fails. So I get to sub up, um, get a turn of Hail on something. Maybe, no, Hail will end after this turn, I think. Um... But that's the really nice thing about using Hail with Subtoxic Jirachi is that you just, like, run all over it. He goes for the T-Bolt and actually breaks my sub, which is kind of surprising. But I'm just going to go straight away for the Toxic. Um, oh, because he's not um, Trace, which is weird. He goes for the T-Bolt, though, does 34%. Doesn't para me, which is nice. But I'm just going to go for the Iron Head right here. Uh, just because if I can flinch him, get a little bit of extra residual damage off, that will be nice. Um, it'll allow me to... Um, rough him up later in the game, but we'll see what he decides to go out into right here. Um, he just stays in though. Uh, flinch, easy. <laughs> um, I kind of want to sub on his recovery because I think he's going to recover right here, and I actually lose nothing by subbing because uh, he will be in range of Iron Head, maybe? No, Iron Head plus the flinch if he does decide to stay in, but he does not. And uh, I get to get a free Toxic off on something now. So, uh, this is the one thing that I really like about uh, Subtoxic Rachi. Is that it can put in a ton of work versus um, teams like this. But uh, right here, I think I'm going to go straight out into my... Al not my Almamola. My Vaporeon. Because <laughs> I think he's just going to go ahead and drop a Draco right here. But uh, I'm not too worried. Um, because I can wish up at that point. Or just make the aggressive double out into a Bomb of Snow, predicting his thing, 
his superior, which is actually really scary to my team. I didn't build with that thing in mind. But he Dracos, which I eat that up, and uh, I'm just going to make the ag aggressive double out into Obama Snow right here. I don't think he's going to stay in. Um, the residual damage is starting to rack up. Uh, I haven't even attacked him yet, and he's already at 62%, which is really nice for me. And... Uh, Honestly, I don't see any reason why he does stay in. But he goes out in a Serp right here, which is great. Um, I can... I'm going to Ice Shard, actually. Um, I know... I, I, I want to go for EQ so bad. I want to go for EQ so bad, predicting the Ember, because that will speed the process up a lot. Um, but I don't want him getting a, a free plus two off of me. Or if he has HP Fire, I don't want that being an issue. Uh, but he goes into P2, actually, which is fine. Um... Because the way I see it, um, this is a free SD. Nah, th th that would be foolish of me to SD right here. Um, I'm actually just going to go out into Jirachi, though. Because it'll force him to uh, recover, which is nice. And then he'll lose 12% due, due to poison and 6% due to the hail. Um, so, as I will also take 6%. That's kind of lame. <laughs> uh, but right here, I'm going to go straight away for the Iron Head because it gets damage on whatever comes in, which is really what I want out of this uh, whole deal right here. Um, and I think he'll stay in, to be honest. And if I get 20% off with this Iron Head and flinch him, uh, he's in range of an Iron Head after that. Ah, oh, I don't flinch him. It's okay, though. He didn't parry me. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> uh, right here, though, I'm just going to go straight away for the Fire Punch, uh, just in case... Actually, is that my best play? No. I fit. no I'm going to go for the Fire Punch, because I don't want him getting a free switch out in a Mega B Drill, if that is what he chooses to do. Um, but now my Jirachi is pretty much gone for this match, which, you know, I'm fine with sacking it if that's uh, what has to go down. Um, if he goes in a superior right here, that's actually a problem, and uh, I'll just have to fire blast and hope that he can't knock me out, which, you know, he may not be able to, but uh, I would be highly surprised if he cannot, um, and actually, uh, I'm not sure what he's going to go into right here. He may just use this as an opportunity to get a free... Um, get his Mega Evolution off for free with Beedrill, which I would be fine with because then I can just pivot out into uh, Gligar, and uh, actually that doesn't help me a whole lot, does it? <laughs> uh, yeah, he goes out into Beedrill right here, and I'm just going to go out into Gligar, predicting him to uh, just go for the Protect right here, uh, so that he doesn't get outsped and hit with a Fire Punch. Um, and he does go for the Protect, and I'm just going to go for the slower U-turn, I think. Because I think he's going to U-turn right here get chip damage, which he does, which is nice. And uh, after this U-turn, I will be able to put a lot more pressure on his team. Um, because he does go out, and he goes out into High Dragon, that helps me a lot. <laughs> um, I can go out into Worse Albamola right here. And uh, just throw up a wish, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw up a wish. Because if I can get my my uh, Obama Snow in, that would be amazing. Um, and I, I'm kind of expecting him just to Draco here to try to get some damage off on me. Um, wouldn't surprise me too much. Uh, he ends up going for the Roost, which is a cool play. Um, not really sure how much it's going to help him, but it's a cool play. Uh, I'm going to go for the Scald right here, though. Just because... Uh, he goes for the Dark Pulse, don't flinch, easy, <laughs> I get 18% off, which doesn't look like a lot, but it allows me to Scald this turn and kind of keep up some offensive pressure, despite the fact that I am a Vaporeon and I'm extremely passive, um, but he goes for the Draco right here, just gets some good damage off, so I suppose it, it could have been a play for me to wish right there, but, uh, considering I don't really need Vaporeon for anything on the rest of his team, uh, I wasn't too worried about it. Um, anyway, we'll see what he decides to go out into right here. It is superior. Um, I think I have to immediately double into Obama Snow. I don't think I can afford to give him more than one boost. Uh, if he does have HP Fire, that's really unfortunate. Although, I feel like he has HP Rock, considering he's paired it with Embor. Um, he goes for the Leaf Storm right here, which does zero damage. And I can just click Ice Shard. Um, I have no reason not to. It probably won't KO. Um, considering the fact that this is a base 40 power move, even though it is doubled. Um, that did 50, that was weak. HP fire. I lost. 
uh, how about that? Um, unless for some reason he doesn't have Dragon Pulse. Um, well, how about that? I was not prepared for this at all. Well, I guess it just shows you how much I know. Um, it was really unfortunate that, that I had to get paired early game because E-Speed would have been very, very helpful right now. Um, very, very helpful. And this is where I kind of wish I had Scarf because um, Scarf would be very nice. Actually, I live. That's cool. I can win this game. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Superior, you are very, very strong, but also very, very weak. <laughs> I, I also really don't understand why he has HP Fire paired with Embor. Um, just because I feel like Embor should be able to take out all the grass types that would threaten um, Superior. Because there's not that many fast grass types. Um, he does end up going out to Mega Beedrill right here, which is fine. Um, I don't think there's any reason for me to click anything other than Draco. Uh, unless he's like SD, which he's not. So easy. And I can just go out into Gligar right here and click Roost. Because I think Gligar will just win me the game right here um i could set up stealth rocks and limit uh switch opportunities but i think that's kind of dumb at this point in the game considering i think i win by just clicking roost and spamming eq um rachi would be my preferable death fodder to scout for hp ice just because i feel like he is choice and uh okay i mean if you want <laughs> if you want uh i don't have I just realized I don't have EQ. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get my rocks up here because it will kind of limit his switch ins as he goes for the U-turn, which is fine. Um, so now do I have to rely on Vaporeon to win me the game? Uh, there are my rocks. I'm going to go straight away into Jirachi uh, because I think Jirachi is well prepared to handle this thing. And I f again, I, I feel like he is choiced. Um, I will protect to see if he is choiced. Uh, just to scout for it, because I don't lose a whole lot by doing so. Um, but I do feel like most Embors in you, you have to be choiced, uh, whether they're Scarfed or Banded. Banded Embor would be pretty scary, although, like, judging by that superpower damage, he probably is, because that did 25%, and I resist that. Uh, he goes straight away for the Heat Crash. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to question it, but I think that's pretty questionable. If I lose to a Blaze Embor, I'm going to be <laughs> really disappointed. Um, anyway, right here, I think my best play is to just fire off a Scald. Um, I don't think... Okay, he goes into Mega Beedrill, which is very nice for me. Um, because I can get 49% off on that. Get the burn, which helps a lot. Because I can just throw a Wish up in the air. Um, actually, do I even need to risk this? I don't want to get like poisoned or anything. So I'm just going to go straight out into Gligar because uh, once he comes in, he will be dead again. If he does go for the poison jab, I will be able to eat that up and uh, go from there. And if he is choice Embor, then he auto loses because he has to click an electric type move to beat. Yeah, he is choice Embor. So uh, he has to click an electric type move to beat my Vaporeon. And I have no reason to do anything but stay in right here. Um... And this was a pretty good battle. I think we're going to wrap up the episode right here. Uh, I'm just going to click Roost. We'll see what he goes for. Um, I may speed this part up if it's just him clicking Wild Charge. So he goes for the Head Smash. That's cool. Um, I'm just going to Roost that damage off from now to Infinity. Because I have no reason not to. That did 46%. That's pretty scary, actually. Um, considering I'm a max defense Gligar to... Uh, in air quotes, check Mega Metacham as he just ends up forfeiting. So, if you guys did enjoy uh, today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Life, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is Have you guys tried Reckless Embor yet? Um, and what are you guys' thoughts on it? Uh, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.